let's just open the bishop see how I was ready to just go on castle then I just hold him back on that and I'm going to actually attack the bishop so the idea is if there's okay let's take the bishop if there's activity to be had there's activity to be had our king there's no threat on our king at this moment in time so we can continue developing our pieces where does this knight want to go don't really want to block this pawn sitting it here sitting it there let's go here with the knight It's that all important tempo, you know that tempo is so crucial, that initiative. And it's amazing how out of the last 50 games of losses that I um, evaluated, I just, I smart at myself because when I've castled, then I've lost that tempo in terms of being developing my other pieces and then the opponents kind of taken charge at that point. I'm going to hit this pawn here, just keep momentum going. They don't have to take obviously they can push down yeah which they have done so we can hit here got two pieces hit in this area if he drops one more time so at the moment lad we've got these little pieces developed here and we haven't lost tempo in terms of castling, so the knight's moved again. Uh, is there any benefits we could take? Obviously, he's looking at his knight coming here. What's the benefit for the, for the knight? Nothing else can really attack it per se. What's my knight doing? What's my bishop doing? At this point, I'd go well castle. But there's nothing happening so we're going to lose tempo i think i'm taking keep the activity going keep the activity going the knights here is on this pawn but it's not really doing anything else after that could swing the queen through with a check but the bishop then comes here so i'm developing a piece for them what about pushing onto this pawn Yeah, I think that's um, something for them to think about. So as we've mentioned, when we say giving them something to think about, we're hoping that we're winning a tempo. We're hoping that we're gaining that initiative. King feels fairly safe at the moment. So the queen's down now, so... As soon as you see the queen moving, you've got to think, well, do I have to castle now? Could take, his pawn takes. It's opening up the centre a little bit. Give space for this pawn to move, for the bishop to come here, start attacking. Queen's going to be here as well. Let's take, keep the, keep the activity going. All right. So obviously they'll be looking to come here at some point. But like we said, we could push this pawn here, looking for the bishop to squeeze here. Or we could go with the queen with the check, then they bring their bishop, and then we bring the bishop and attack there. But, um, where does the knight go though? But the knight's got a spoiler, hasn't it? Queen check, bishop comes here. Oh, the bishop can't move there yet. We have to move the pawn. So we have to move the pawn first before we even entertain any of that activity so they've beat us to the punch so we could bring the rook here looking to push on but he's got like three pieces on there right so i'm gonna have to change the plan maybe getting the knight up putting a two on one on this pawn how does he defend knight comes back and defends yep yeah, okay let's attack keep the attack going King's not castled yet, but we're trying to keep that momentum going. They've not castled either, but I'm more concerned about my castling. This pawn's got, well, it's got a protection with the knight. There's nothing else, well, the knight, the only one that can is this knight, isn't it? Because this knight can't defend. There's no pawns that can defend, so this knight has to go back. So if that knight goes back, 
queen could come here, but it obviously that's not going to be working for us. And the bishop can't squeeze through here now because the knight's blocking. So what happens after that? Knight goes there. So we put another attack on here. The queen could come here to attack the pawn again, but also x-ray through to the rook. So that seems like a bit of a plan. So I don't believe we would have been able to do this sort of manoeuvres because the tempo would have been down because we would have gone and castled. It's a great revelation, but I think we've been working towards this, this understanding. Because um, I think if we just rushed to this part and said, oh, well, we'll just not castle just yet we wouldn't have had all the other underlying concepts that we built up from our evaluation which help us to make more selective better movements so in essence i think it's the right time to be bringing this in so it's not actually done that so the knight looks to be taking here putting pressure onto the bishop which knight this knight or this knight I think this knight because then at least it frees up the bishop to come and attack so i'm going to bring the knight here so we've got a two on one at the minute so you're probably expecting the rook to come here is he going to castle queen side to bring the rook here that's an awful awful file to be queen side castling on though so we're, we're maintaining pressure we're giving them things to think about so that's us trying to keep this initi initiative going I'm hoping I can bring this into the over the board games. I think for me, in the distant past, I over egged, you know, I was too aggressive. I was bang, 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 in the face, in the face. And that's when I, I suffered with the back end because then obviously they were getting checkmates on me because I was not looking at my back end. I'm hoping with this new type of thinking, I am constant, constantly thinking about my king while I'm doing my attacks. So brought the bishop back. Anything else? Oh, the rook's going to be coming onto our queen. We do have the check, like we said, though. Now it's all opened up. So we can put the check on. Knight's covering here. His knights are covering there. It's probably just going to simply move the king, though. It's not going to go for any of that business. Yeah, so a simple king move. Knight can go and put a check on, also on the queen, so the bishop's going to have to take. Queen takes. Go for a blocker. Knight, don't forget that this knight is defending this pawn. And this knight is as well. We don't have anything to attack that knight apart from coming back around and attacking their knight here. So that's a nice blocker, isn't it? Is this time to go and castle now then? I think it might be an appropriate time to castle. He does have time to castle himself. Hmm. Can't bring this round because the bishop's going to take. Can't move that because it's going to take, could just go and attack their knight. Activity again. Only issue is, is that he's probably going to get our pawn here. So we come down, attack the knight. Does he take? If he takes, bishop takes. Then the queen takes. I think it's getting a bit ugly, isn't it? I think it's time to castle. Let's castle them. Yep. And they've castled as well. All right. So it's time for the rooks to look to be interested in owning the file. Let's just do the simple stuff. This pawn doesn't have any protection on. Could just bring his queen down, that type of stuff. Okay, so we're back into, it almost feels like traditional, you know, I almost feel bad that I've had to go and castle, 
But everything's dried up now and I think if we go any further that our king would end up getting trapped, especially with the rooks starting to open up. So it's a good choice to make. Oh, excuse me. Okay, uh, so he's coming, attacking the pawn here with the rook x-raying through. It might be the, one of those situations where you say, well, I'll allow you to have it, or... You just come and attack the knight, like we said. But then the queen takes the pawn, so are we... Attacking their bishop. Just to try and win that tempo back in a sense. Um, but, but, but if we attack the bishop, bishop takes. Uh, it's not going to go there. It's not going to go there because it gets taken. So let's attack the bishop. Keep fighting for this initiative. When you see computer evaluation of your games afterwards, they it always seems to find something that is fighting for you know, gaining them initiative. And you think sometimes when you're playing the game, you don't see those things. But when the evaluation's done, it's not like they've added any additional pieces on the board or put them in a different position. They somehow find that fighting for the initiative position with the piece. So it is possible. So at the minute, we're owning the file, per se, not too strongly but if we could get maybe a little bit of this going on no it's not doing that like we said it's not doing that it's not doing that could come back here just to a knight's protecting the pawn at the minute but I'm not looking at my knight babysitting the pawn do have a nice position here. Ooh, she's coming for the pawn. Just about to say, I've got, <laughs> got a nice position here with the rook attacking the queen, but it's just going to take the pawn. Could swing round and defend, but it's kind of... Can't bring the queen here because the knight will take it. Could bring the knight up here, defending. It's nice positions, kind of managing these squares a little bit. I think that's um, a nice one to go for, I think. Let's go with that. It's defending the pawn at the minute. I don't really have anything apart from this knight coming here. Whew. So I think it's an hour and 40 minutes with a, is it a 10 second increment or something like that. So it's a long, long play, Congress. Okay, his knight comes here attacking the knight. push anyway, couldn't we? Knight's defending, but then these pawns will shoot down and attack the knight. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> at last, the exact move. Right, okay. So any magic? Uh, rook takes. Comes here with a check. King comes here. Not really. New, 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 new. Knight coming here, attacking the queen. Small piece attacking the higher piece, can't be wrong. It's also attacking this pawn. Um, I think he's going to come here to x ray through to the pawn so that it feels like he's getting some sort of compensation. Anyway, we'll go with that. Hmm. 
<laughs> so even though we're practicing this new um, late castling type thing, if it if at all possible, in order to win tempo, initiative, etc. After that's done, you still have to utilize all of those other concepts underneath the thing. Just because you've late castle doesn't mean anything. It just means hopefully that you're a tempo up. Is um two two on one bit? Yeah, it's two on one bit. Yeah, it just means I could take this knight here, couldn't I? It's two on one that. Lean on his queen maybe. Get our queen out of the picture somehow. Um, could attack his knight, get it out of the way, but also attacking his queen. Yeah, let's do that. Something to think about. Queen comes here, supporting the take capture, because we'd get the pawn for free if we did that. So I think the queen's coming here. I don't want it to go there, obviously, you know. I want to be able to get that pawn off the board as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Is there anything materialized from that position? Nope. I'm just taking. There's no point taking. He's got two pieces there. Rook takes. Let me look at that again. Queen takes, rook takes, yeah, and rook takes and queen takes, yeah, doesn't work. Can't take pawn, can't take there, let's just go back, hit his rook. The smallest of potatoes, we are plus one at the moment. Are we happy with the position? It looks uh, drawish, <laughs> but I'm not grumbling, I'm not grumbling at all. Let's grab this. Come for a two on one, obviously his rook's just gonna come behind here. So maybe we don't do that. Give the king a bit of a flight square of some sort. That'd be a waste really. Stacking our pawn, the cheek of it. If we go here, his rook still comes across, and then he can still take, but then we can take, but then his queen can come around the back. Oh, back ranker. Hmm. Go there. Brings his rook here, protect him. And what do we do from there? Then his queen's on our rook. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. So we could bring the rook here, defending the pawn. But he's owning the file as well. Uh, that's a shame, isn't it? What can the queen do? Queen could come here. No, can't go there. Queen could attack the queen. Then he takes the pawn. Rook, nah, that's rubbish. That's no good. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's just go simple and just protect the pawn. these positions that can send you crazy because you think oh I'm winning I've got a pawn up and he's attacking our pawn up I'll bring the rook here attacking the pawn but at the same time defending then they bring it back I think that looks more active don't it let's do that defending and attacking 
Mainly money comes here, looking for the back ranker, but the queen has got this square. I suppose his queen's got our rook. No. So if we come across, oh, he's going to take the pawn, isn't he? Oh, very nice. But, oh, I thought it was checkmate then. I thought, if we go here, I thought if the queen takes, I thought the rook, if the rook goes there, I thought the queen was on this diagonal. And we would have had a checkmate, but that won't happen, will it? Okay, so get the check on, he comes there. Okay, okay. Got a back ranker coming at me though, dude. I can't mess about. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, I've got. To, I can't do that. I have to do something like this. Give the king the flight square. Oh no, he's got a two on one. God, he's got a two on one MP. He's gonna take there. I'm going to take here. Be nice to get that and get that, but they're not going to just let us do it, are they? If the rook's going to come down, check here, that square, pawn's blocking there, so there's no immediate. So he's going to have to bring his queen back somehow. That's what we're looking for. Oh, come on, give me some, give me a break. So the check's on. He's got to move his queen now, so he's going to readjust and probably come here. Oh, he's doing the same what we want to try and do to him. Oh, that's going to hurt, isn't it? Um, no, not really. If I get the check, he moves. And take the pawn. What check has he got on my king? Is it going to come up here? think it's going to work is it let's just put the check on anyway while we're thinking so I don't know how oh, if he, he can go here with his rope can't he if we swing here now are we too late to the party because his rope comes up he's not got a check on my king is he let's take the pawn might get a repetitive a repetition. We're plus two, but these types of positions, <clears throat> if, if there's a draw to be had, or there's a draw to be had. I can't see, he's not. Um, he's going to be looking for this. This is his beauty spot, which is here with the queen and the rook. Unless, of course, it comes here, it can't come there. But it's the timing, it's to the count, isn't it? We'd ideally just want to just drop this here and go blam. But maybe they're just going to bring their queen here. Which would make sense. Then we could maybe trade off. Doubled pawn.
So these are definitely the positions that in over the board just mess up because your brain is so tired you know you've been playing for maybe an hour and a half or two hours and you're just like oh I just want this to be over with now you know don't want to make any silly mistakes what magic are they going to find you know to spoil all this time sat here and um, watching this beautiful game of chess and you're feeling like you've done really well you plus one and you should win but you'll accept a draw because you know these things can end in draws quite easily so that's what my brain says that it does that you're there for a length of time and you put the energy in you've got to this stage and you're like i'm happy oh what's he doing oh he's coming for a check on the king but like i said i'm thinking i'm looking looking to trade off here even though we're plus one it's doubling this pawn here Let's take so plus two should be a win. It should be a win, shouldn't it? If we take our time now and focus on what we need to do, we need to get rid of this pawn. Go and defend, he pushes down, we push up again. Let's just go and defend, keep it real simple. And I don't need to be moving so fast either. I need to think about the move, calculation, instead of doing what I just did just then, which was let's just defend. Let's think it through. We've spent hours in this position, we've got up and we've gone around walking, looking at other people's games. You know, the brain's tired, we're thinking, okay, we've got this now, but you don't want to rush it. I've got to teach myself to do that in these over the board games, in this over the over the weekend. Not to rush it at the end, especially if you've got an advantageous position, because it can all just go flat, just like that. Rooks down, defending, well, attacking our pawn. Do we attack their pawn just to get the pawns out of the way? I'm actually going to push up. I'm going to push. This is where this pawn is going to drop, but we can push. Where's he squeezing? We could push onto the pawn, but he's probably going to push past because that's his um, last ditch attempt at getting a promotion. Let's do the count now. So this is the time where we sit, focus, take time and look at the count. If we pushed and if he pushed past, we push, he pushes past, his rook's blocking his way, we push. His rook comes behind our pawn. We could go behind his pawn. He takes our pawn and we take his pawn. We're on the right side of the board. I'm fairly comfortable with that. Yeah, I'm going to push. Believing that the cluster of pawns I've got here should stand us in good stead with our rook and our king working hopefully fairly safely with these pawns pushing them up a bit oh he's actually captured so that's messed up the position i thought i was going to have but never mind okay so how do we play it maybe the rook wants to hold this file here stopping the king from coming down maybe here attacking the pawn yeah, let's do that. It's a bit more proactive, being able to attack. But the king is coming down into the game. Let's push on to the king. Wants to get into the game, doesn't it? It's going to drop here. Try 
and slide down here put a bit of pressure onto this pawn so I slide 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 then he's got like a two on one on the pawn could obviously push here so maybe we should push here first to get our king here so that then there's none of this shenanigans yeah so we're going to push the rook comes down for the king prefer to get rid of this one so in the ideal world once the rook comes down you put a check on here and I don't, there's no point in the king coming here because I'd want to be pushing this pawn anyway so that then if they're trying any funny business then at least maybe we can try and take with this pawn Oh, they've come down and you can see yeah so we're just going to push here you may then have ideas of just dropping it and putting checks on the king type thing okay and so that gives us the opportunity to push the pawn here let's just push this pawn so stopping the shenanigans of the king potentially coming here so the rooks moved up protecting the king could attack the king but he takes and takes and he gets the pawn there's no point pushing this because our king has nowhere to go could push this just to close off any aspects of potential pushing down gives us a bit of a move so uh, well, what I don't like is the king being able to sit here not that it's doing anything but if it did sit there, our rook would take the pawn, so I don't think that's going to happen, is it? So if we pushed, maybe they decide to push, and we can take, and it's a pass pawn. That isn't happening. Excellent. Right. So I think we can just push. And that's the pawn's job's done now. Still could be a draw, but I know I'm plus two. It should be a win. Um... I could be lazy and go, Poof, you know, in the competition, two pawns up, I probably end up kicking myself, so I probably have to push it to the end to see if I could get a win of some sort. So let's not be lazy and see if there's something. It's just the position of the pawns, it's almost like, because the king's acting as a pawn, blocking off. So how do we get in? So if I bring the rook here, Look to sit here. Obviously, the king's just going to defend here. Oh no! Checkmate. Oh dear! After all that hard work as well, I feel sorry for them. As a <laughs> oh brilliant.